most pools don't even have as much suction as this has right now. Do you have a lot of stuff in your pool, but your pool pump suction isn't high enough to make your vacuum work? I have the solution for you. This is how much suction it has. Get that? I'm gonna show you how to vacuum this pool without a pool pump. Vacuum your pool or spa with just a vacuum hose and a pole. But first, let's fix the pool. This pool was neglected for weeks. Stayed to the end to see the final reveal. Two days later, here's our result. This pool filter is overwhelmed. It can't pick up all of this. It's gonna settle on the bottom. This is definitely gonna need one more day. Follow along, we're gonna make this pool perfect by tomorrow. Wow, look at the bottom. All this dust is from phosphate remover and dead algae. Now here's the simplest way to take care of this dust. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach our, right now we have a brush attachment. This is gonna be the best for this scenario. We're gonna put our vacuum head in the pool. Extend our pole so it's gonna sit just right at the level. It's gonna help with the prime, but it's also gonna help with how we're gonna make this work with a siphon. So when we put our hose on the ground, you can see all of the hose is lower than our vacuum head here. So we're gonna take the end of this hose and we're gonna pull it even lower below the pool. We're gonna shoot water into this. Completely fill up this hose. We should see the bubbles in the pool going as this hose is filling. When we drop this hose in our hand, we should see the siphon created. We can see the water coming out now. And we see the siphon has started. Oh. Give it a sec. This may take a couple tries. This water should be a continuous flow coming out of there. Now we're gonna come over here. Now we should have enough suction. I literally vacuum all this up. Look at this. Wow. You do wanna go slow. I want to remember that we're taking water out of the pool, so we need to be adding it. Wow, you can see all the stuff coming out of the hose now. This is everything that we're vacuuming off the bottom. can see this is how much suction it has. But so this is how much suction we're working with. It's actually a lot, like a most 
Most pools don't even have as much suction as this has right now. Incredible. Okay. Whoops. See if you pull it out, you'll you gotta put it right back in, you'll be good. Alright. We're gonna brush it down and we're gonna see if it stirs anything up. Anytime you have a fiberglass surface or pool, the alkalinity is very important. So you wanna always make sure you have some bicarb on hand. We're here like 20 minutes before the guests are about to check in. We do need a vacuum it one more time. So I'm gonna show you another way to do this. Okay, if you don't have a nozzle, you can just stick your hose in your back line, get low to the pool. Cup your hand over the nozzle. As soon as the water starts shooting out of here, it should be primed. Got a little flow. As we go further away from the pool with this, should pick up. As we go down this, it's gonna pick up. Put our hose down further the siphon increases and our suction increases as well so if you don't have much of a hill or the pool isn't raised up too much you need to stretch your hose all the way out and find that low spot in the yard to put it and it should help you out with your suction Thank you for watching our video. I'm Spencer, this is Bowie. There's a new video for you to watch right here. Please subscribe right here. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section below and like the video.